Okay, hi, this is uh, part two for Moons Indra 86 and um, this is this card is the month of July and I do see some some disappointment regarding an investment that that has not come through some some something that you've been working on um, that is not going through for you that's not flowing well um, promises that are being made they are not being fulfilled and I see some disappointment that you be that's going to be happening due to this due to the choices that you are going to be making here especially with the with the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Because this card is saying that you've already made your choices here. You've already made your decision here. And um, and I see you here being very happy, kind of working and having a lot of hope and promise regarding what you're working for, your investment, and having some progress. And I see you here uh, waiting for something to show up. and. Um, from the spreads over here, I see that um, things are not going to be looking very, um, very well for for this for for the month of July and August and September. So I do see some some disappointment and some loss. The Five of Cups usually talks about disappointment and loss, but however, even though you've 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 known that um, there's some um, there's some challenges that um, that is that has come to you some losses and some sadness with this uh, you um, even though there's a lot of loss this card is telling you that there's three of cups here there's still there's still an opportunity there for you so this card is telling you that not all is lost even though you feel that everything is lost not all is lost things still can be saved there's still hope and there's still there's still a lot of uh, prospects here for you and I see on the six of cut, uh, sorry, the six of swords. So I see you moving away from the situation, from this, okay, from this whole, this whole thing over here, the cards over here. I see you moving away. So you're moving away, um, moving away from from this situation that is giving you a lot of. Uh, um, a lot of problems, a lot of uh, disappointment. So I see you here as a, a woman holding a rose, representing the hope, and a little boy and a man. Like as a family, I see you're moving away, moving away probably to a new uh, city, a new state, um, going to a better place. This guy is always, this six of swords is always talking about um, disappointment, but you're moving away and getting, doing something better, uh, more uh, doing something um, that will give you a better future for yourself and your family. And I see the next card, which is the, the card, this is the card of August, and this is September, and this is Nine of Pentacles. And you see this is a very beautiful lady in a beautiful home, happily and contented, but you, ha but you have it in the reverse. So this card is saying that there's some boredom in your life, some, um, some communication issues. I wouldn't say that there's financial problems. Um, I, would, I would not say that you're, you'll be having um, huge financial problems, but there will be some a point in your life where you're kind of feeling like tired and you're bored and you're feeling kind of cooped up at home, you want to do something and a bit of um, sometimes the Nine of Pentacles also talks about materialism, overindulgence. So I see you trying to move away from this situation and from the month of October, I see there will be a very positive man in your life. Now this man is an older man, he's the king of swords, very very powerful man and you'll be going to him or he'll be coming to you and he'll be helping you making, uh, making a better choice, making decisions, um, and giving you some help. So this man is a very good man, very powerful man, he's holding the sword of truth and you can see butterflies all surrounding him and he's holding the head of his enemy and you see that uh, he's a man uh, with a lot of wisdom and he's, and he's very uh, transformative. So he's um, a man who you, wanna, who you want advice from because he's a man who knows what he's saying and what he says is the truth. So this is a very good man that, that will be coming to you in the month of um, October. He's an older man, could be um, a family friend, a father, a grandfather, so someone, your, or your boss or someone like that. 
So it's a very good moon. In the month of November, you have just this very interesting card. Both of them together holding the sword of truth, the sword of justice. And <clears throat> now justice, okay, justice could mean uh, many things here in the in the spread. Um, you could you could um, feel probably you could be in a situation where you need to be fair, where you need to decide. Um, whether things need, uh, whether uh, you need to decide on a situation where you need to be fair and need to to tell the truth or um, to give fair judgment, to be equal. You see her holding the scales of equality, so it could be speaking about um, being fair to people, especially in a situation speaking the truth um, and being equal and seeing things for and seeing things in, um, in as what they are and not uh, being one-sided. However, the Justice card could also talk about, um, um, because you have the Seven of Pentacles here and, and investment and some loss and moving away and the Nine of Pentacles, sometimes it also talks about the home environment that um, you want to move, move house. So the Justice card could also talk about, could also refer to uh, seeing a lawyer someone in the legal system helping you um, helping you with a situation with some um, investment some financial situation or probably moving away getting a new place a new home so so the justice card is a very it's a very interesting card that you have especially with the king of swords so this man is a very good man very powerful man I'm sorry that the birds are making so much noise okay <laughs> So, so this man is a very good man. Very, um, he'll be really guiding you and helping you make a better decisions and choices. So he be he'll be leading you to this person, justice, and this person is the sign of Libra. And during the month of December, um, you'll be meeting up with a, another person who'll be coming into your life, Queen of uh, Chalice, beautiful lady. Um, she's in reverse. So. Um, because this is the month of December, so it's the Christmas season. So I don't know if this is someone in your uh, family's family life, family circle, that you'll be meeting up with someone um, older, someone who is um, probably not emotionally connected, someone who who you are not very fond of or might be a bit who might irritate you a bit. So um, I will not um, take this card very seriously because the court cards, as I mentioned. They always they always represent people and the, the situation that they bring in. So the court cards, people are always coming and going. So this is not a very major problem for you. So so this is just probably a minor a minor uh, a person that you meet up probably during the Christmas season, holiday season. So overall for your reading, um, your reading um, overall is actually pretty good. There is not uh, a lot of major events or major major challenges coming to you you have two major arcana cards and um, five court cards and uh, and yeah so you need to be very wary in the first the first uh the first uh the first second third fourth month of uh, 2010 because you because there'll be something here for you actually you be in a position of power to make a decision, a choice for a new venture, a new enterprise, something relating to probably work, a business, or some sort of something relating to the home environment. So there's, um, I believe there's something that you are already planning now, perhaps, and probably you're just kind of thinking about it. But but you be you be given a choice, actually, a decision where you come into a very powerful position to make a choice. So I see you still not decided. I see someone coming to you offering uh, a proposal and I see an, um, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, not a very good uh, decision or choice to take up anything actually. If there's any proposal coming to you during this month of April, highly recommend you do not follow through. Highly, highly recommend because of the six, five of, sorry, five of um, chalice. Because I see you here um, waiting for your investment to flow through, waiting for, waiting for, your, for your just deeds, basically. And um, I don't see much pentacles here because only the nine of, 
nine of pentacles so um, so I see there will be some disappointment some letdown for you so so yeah basically that's about it so I hope you enjoy the reading and let me know leave your comments thank you very much bye